Hi, and welcome to my video tutorial that I'm going to be putting together on uh, Rollaball, which is a kind of classic Unity project that uh, we're going to go through in the Play Canvas environment. Now, I can't take credit for a lot of this. Uh, I'm going to hope I pronounce your name right. Felipe uh, Valiancourt. Uh, he put together a uh, port of the entire finished Unity Rollerball project in Play Canvas. Uh, he didn't have directions on, on how to create it, and so I thought in this video series I would go through how you could put together uh, each of the individual components. Um, so just some background, Unity is a professional uh, grade 3D development environment. Uh, it does require you to install it on like a Mac or a PC to, to use it. Play Canvas is a web based uh, HTML5 uh, 3D development environment, which is really pretty impressive uh, considering the technology that it's built on. Um, so to get started, uh, what you're going to want to do is go to the playcanvas.com website. Uh, you're going to have to sign up. And when you sign up, you've got a couple options. You can provide your email or you can use uh, your Google account if you have one. So I'm going to assume you've gone through that process. Uh, and once you get in, the page you'll start on will actually be your home page, and it may look something like this. Uh, there's nothing on here of interest that you really need to look at initially. Where you want to go is your projects page. And what you'll see is an example project that you can open, and it'll walk you through some of the features of Play Canvas. I have deleted mine already. Uh, what you see here is the finished version of Rollerball that, that I implemented based on uh, Felipe's uh, kind of construction. You can also see here there's a limit on how big your projects can be. It's a maximum of a gigabyte in total usage uh, and the free plan. If you're interested in paying, you can look into that too. But for this tutorial, we will uh, be just looking at a, uh, the free, uh, a free project. So to get started making uh, Rollerball, what you want to do is click on the new button and you'll have to name your project uh, something. Don't, don't worry about changing any of these settings up here. Um, so Rollerball Tutorial is probably a good name. You can give it a description. Uh, it has to be public. Private is a, is a feature that you only get if you pay. So I click Create. And you'll go to a page that looks like this. Once again, not a lot that you need to look at right now. But if you click on Editor, it will take you to a new tab. Uh, and it'll look something like this. So in a 3D project, you can have lots of different scenes. Uh, right now, there is one scene called Untitled, which I'm going to click on. And I don't like the name Untitled, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Untitled again. And I'm going to change it to be Main, because that seems like a much better name. So let's talk a little bit about what you have here and just demo some of the changes you can make. Uh, on the left side, this is the hierarchy that shows you a lot of different pieces of the environment. So there's a camera. Uh, if you click on it, what it shows you is there's two views. The perspective view just shows you sort of like um, your god and you can see everything in the world. The camera, if you click on it, it shows you in this little box um, what the camera will look like in the game. So that's sort of like the player's perspective. If you click on the box, it'll actually change the main window to be from the camera perspective. If you click on camera again and go back to perspective, you can go back to sort of your God view. So that's important. If I, I click around here, you can see that I'm moving around in the world by clicking and dragging, but it's actually not changing the camera perspective that the player will have in the game. And there, there's lots of things in here we could change for right now. We'll, we'll just leave it uh, for now. Uh, you can see on the right side, all these features, just let's uh, leave them be. There's also lighting, which we won't really talk about right now. Let's talk about this box here. Um, so the box could be sort of a representation of our player if we wanted it to be. But I wanted to show you that you can move things by using the red arrows. Um, you can see on the right side that this box highlights, so the position uh, in the X direction is being changed by the red arrow. The blue arrow says in the Z direction we're moving, and here the Y direction we're going up and down. Um, you can also change the rotation. These are all in degrees if you want to put a spin on the box. And you can also make things bigger by scaling them. The same thing with the plane. You can see that the plane that we have uh, has a scale of 8 by 8 
in the x and the z direction. Um, so we can make that bigger if we would like to have a bigger space. All right, that's probably enough for getting uh, started. We'll continue with the next parts of the project in the next video.